the thing is, you can be the ripest, juiciest peach in the world. And there's still somebody who hates peaches. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. We are here again for another Coffee with C. But before anything else, I would love to give a hug and a big shout out to my number one and only fan, Rain Alfonso from the Philippines. Thank you so much for watching all my videos. I would like to let you know that you are such a very beautiful and smart young lady. You do not let other people tell you otherwise. So let's get started. How to stop caring what people think. I've chosen to pick this topic from Janelle because I am inspired by this question and i want to share my experiences and how i deal with them there are three easy steps that you can start incorporating in your day-to-day -day lives to stop caring what people think number one know your values what do you stand for what are your beliefs knowing your values is the most powerful thing you have to start with this one before we get to the second and third because once you figure out your values once you understand what you stand for the second and the third will just develop organically to you knowing your values you don't compromise your standards and your morals just for someone to like you because you are firm you know where you stand and you know what you stand for and that is very powerful. For example, if you get fired from a job because you tell the truth and stand for your values, you shouldn't be ashamed of that. You shouldn't be embarrassed. Yes, getting fired is unpleasant, but whatever people say to you that you've lost your job, now you are worthless, there are billions of people out there what does that mean there are seven billion different opinions knowing your values you don't let someone have power over you and what are values anyway for example you value being kind you are always kind to everyone and then suddenly your friends your family came up to you and say you're too kind your kindness makes you look weak and that is okay whatever they say you can be too much of something at all times people have different opinions and their opinions are irrelevant of who you are and what you are made of another example people always tell me your hair is too long your hair is too black i am not gonna go cut my hair i am not going to change the color of my hair just because group of people or 90 percent of the population tell me to do so i believe having a long black hair represents femininity that's what i believe so i carry my long black hair with confidence and without giving a another example someone tells you you're too thin when you're very happy with your body, do not let any other people change your perception of yourself. I am not saying that you just go around and say, screw everyone else's opinion. You have to protect your mental space by creating a filter of what is necessary and what is just noise. How does that work? So if you receive a criticism, filter it out by asking yourself, would this criticism help me to be a better person? And if so, then try to absorb it. On the other hand, if the criticism is simply to put you down and really has no relevance about the truth about yourself, leave it. You have to protect your own mental space by having a filter on every noise that is thrown at you. Because in this world, you can be too fat, you can be too skinny, you can be too light, you can be too much of anything. That's their opinion. For them, if you are too much of a something, just gladly accept their criticism and don't let that get to you. You can be the ripest, 
juiciest peach in the world. And there's still somebody who hates peaches. Second, by knowing your values, you get to trust yourself. Trusting yourself meaning you know your abilities, you know you are capable. If the way you live your life is you seek approval from others, that just means that you don't trust yourself. If you trust yourself, you do things based on your gut, based on how you feel is right. You are not going to solicit validation from anyone in order for you to do the things that you want to do. Trusting yourself is key to living your life because this world is full of uncertainties. No one will tell you what to do. There is no blueprint to tell you how to live your life. Regardless of the mistakes that you will be making, at least you can tell yourself, yes, I did it. I can take ownership of it because this is my belief and I stand up for it. That should make you proud. You cannot blame anyone for your mishaps in life. You cannot blame anyone from your mistakes because you followed someone else's opinion. Then suddenly you made mistakes. Oh, I did what I did because so-and-so told me. Number three, stop living your life focusing on what others think or what others may say. Live your life in alignment with your values because there are billions of people out there. There will always be people who will be disapproving of everything that you do, regardless of how great you are. You trying to please anyone, they are stripping you off of living your life. Number one, know your values. Number two, trust in yourself. And number three, is stop focusing on what people think. Last but not the least, stop overthinking. Most of the time, it's all just in here. People are not really judging you. People look at you the wrong way doesn't mean anything. Maybe they're just having a bad day. This whole process will entirely change your life. It will be easier for you to live your life. It will be easier for you to get to your full potential because you are not afraid. You are not scared of what other people think. Most of the time, we're not really scared of the situation. That's why we don't pursue our dreams because we are not scared of our dreams. We are scared of what people think. Learning how to do these things, not only you'll get to live the life you deserve, you will also build self-confidence over time. And on top of that, you will get to learn yourself even more because you will be able to reach your full potential. That's about it for today. Thank you so much for your messages. I will be creating content every week because it means so much to me that it has impact in your lives. Keep those topics coming. Send me your requests. Comment down below. Stay tuned because your topic may be next. Until next time.